really so good. So, um, I think I said I was going to talk about my iPhone today. Um, it's downstairs and it needs to be charged up. So, that will be today. Probably, so it'll probably be next week. I I'll make a video about it at some point. Um, yeah, I did manage to get it on Friday, last Friday. Um, although they did say, I, I think, as if it's with all the um, things, with the um, the tariff thing I, I'm on, I chose, well that's what they said, they, they said with that one, um, if I trade in my phone, um, I'll get £10 off my bill every month, from what I understand. Which works out alright, because the £10 is what I would pay for the insurance, or whatever they call it. So, it, it, it kind of, I'm, I'm kind of getting insurance for freedom. That's what they said. So, I think it must be every month rather than just one off, I don't know. But, they said, uh, um, two working days after I get my phone, like, whatever, then they'll send out, Vodafone will send out a, um, an envelope, or bag, or whatever, okay, to send it back, and all that. Um, I don't know if it's out yet. And I said, yeah, 14 days. So, now I don't know if it's 14 days from when I get my phone, or 14 days from when the bag turns up. And the bag hasn't turned up yet, and I've had my phone, like, well, it'll be a week tomorrow. So, when I go into town next, um, we'll pop into the place, if the bag hasn't turned up by then. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I absolutely love my phone. Um, <laughs> Alright, I have to laugh. When I think we got, yeah, we got obviously last Friday, um, I was with my mum. And just before I went to bed, I was like, I don't know how to switch it. No, no I, didn't, I didn't tell myself straight away, I don't know how to switch it off. It was a fact, I went to switch it off the way I've always switched my iPhone off, which is the button on the side. Look, we got the volume on this side, and you got the button on this side. So I was pressing that, and I kept coming up with Suri, and I was like, I don't want Siri, I don't want to turn this thing off. I have to Google it to find out how to switch it off. And what it is, is that button on the side at the same time as the volume button. And you can either do the top, you know, the volume up button or the volume down button. But they said, if you do the volume up button, what he said, you might accidentally do, I can't remember. But so I always do the volume down button. So I wish I would turn it off now. Um, yeah, but I was like, oh, how do I turn this off? Because <laughs> when I when I um, got my phone, I went to put it on, it won't come on. I was like, they did offer me when I was not working. But it was like, <laughs> um, the battery wasn't charged. Whereas, you know, I got phones from, you know, I've been iPhone before, and they um, automatically, not automatically, they on, but they, be charged or something, or they have enough charge there, but come on. But yeah, I have to charge stuff that way. Um, yeah, so that's about my phone. Um, I think I spoke about maybe Poppins Returns in the last video, so I'm not going to mention that. Doctor Who. Um, seven. Is it the seventh? I did just feel. Sunday the seventh of. Um, October it starts, which I think I might have mentioned in the last video, but I think I read it, yeah, there's actually a time as well now, and I think it says 6.45, so I am so happy because I was thinking, I'm with my mum next week again, and it was, um, I'm so used to be on Saturdays, so I was thinking, I'm going to be over there, and she's like, you know what, you're Dr. Hill, I'll tell you what, you're Dr. Dr. Hill. Which, that's me not, it's Christmas, and I'll be watching Doctor Who. Um, or, 
You've already seen this. How did I? I should say. Well, how have I already seen it? It's a new episode. Um. Yeah, but thankfully this is all on a Sunday, and at that time I'll be back here anyway. I can watch it without my mum saying to me, "You don't have to watch that all the time. You've already seen that." Oh, I can understand if it was a film, if it was like, Mom, mate, you've seen that loads of times. I can understand that because I have. But I love it. Um, uh, yeah, so, can't wait to see Doctor Who. Um, obviously. See? Right. With... Well, I didn't really get into Doctor Who until, like, David Tennant's one, so I can't really say... I was excited, like, leading up to that season. Um, actually, to be fair, I think I watched the Chris. I think the Christmas one, the Christmas Invasion, was covered at was was but um, repeated not long before last season started. Like a week or so. Was it the same? Oh, no, I think it, oh, I don't know, it wasn't long before. So I um, watched that, and then I got, then I watched um, New Earth. And after watching New Earth, I was like, I thought the next one, and I thought the next one, and I thought, oh my god. So I took the phone and looked at it. Plus, David, and um, I wonder why I'm going to and I got my doctor who goes with me. Uh, really? Actually, you can see uh, this Nick thing. Um, yeah, so obviously with David Tennant's set season, I was excited every time it was coming around. Then there was Matt Smith's first episode. Um, well, first season, I should say. And I. I can't say I was excited about it because, I mean, he replaced my doctor, so I was like, whatever. Ah, not only that, but it was kind of heartbreaking that he was, for uh, however much of the episode, he was wearing Ken's suit. So, yeah. Um, obviously I carried on watching Doctor Who in that scene. Um, then there was... Yeah, uh, Matt Smith regenerated into, uh, I don't know his name, I was going to say that, I was going to say Patrick. Patrick? Why was he Patrick? I was going to say Patrick Dempsey, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> but Patrick, was that? Oh yeah, what's his name? Peter. <laughs> I mean, there's Peter um, Capaldi and Peter Davison. I think that's why I said Patrick Dempsey. Because you've got Peter Capaldi, Peter Davison, and because I have the PED in my head, I went and said Patrick. Fancy. Um, yeah, well, let's see, yeah, with, um, why do I keep saying Patrick? Bloody hell. With Peter Capaldi's first see, oh, uh, Peter, uh, Matt Smith turned into, oh, we generated into Peter Capaldi. So, um, obviously I was like, obviously, I, I wasn't so much at all then. But then when it came round to Peter's first, um, season. Leading up to that, I have to admit, I was, I was back to being like, excited like I was when David Tennant's uh, season was starting. Besides the first one, because like I said, I was a huge fan then. Um, but yeah, I was kind of excited, I was like, I'm looking forward to this. Which I had, like I said, I didn't have between, um, when Matt Smith's first one started. Um, but like, I wasn't really a big Peter Capaldi or 12th Doctor fan. Um, I was just more of a fan of him than I was of Matt Smith. And now with Jovi, I mean, there's so many reasons to I me. Mean, I think that was another reason with uh, Matt and Peter's was Stephen Moffat. I'm not a big fan of Stephen Moffat. Um, I, 
have to say up I do prefer the Russell T Davis um era. Um but yeah, this time there's like, more reason to be excited. New doctor obviously. New doctor being a woman, eh, hey. Joey, um new uh showrunner and Chris Chibnall, who then brought you it, which starred Jodie and David and Olivia and um, Arthur. And I know I'm missing a whole lot of names, but I can't think. Um, yeah, so, and I, I don't, well, I've seen other projects, I love projects with David Tennant, I probably would have loved it out of life. But the fact that David Tennant was in it, Helped a lot. Um, yeah, so so excited about it. Um, so I'm looking forward to watching that. Um, and I got really annoyed the other day because they were advertising um, the, the new series. And my dad said, I think this is going to be a flop. I was like, ah, honestly, oh, well, I did say I think, no, it's not. And he's like, well it is, but you know, from what I can see in this, it's going to be a flop. <laughs> no, it's not. I, I, I was actually getting like, really... I, well, I can't be good, not... I mean, it's not, it's obviously right. I was like, just because he's a woman, it's not going to be a bloody flop. If he'd said, oh, she's a woman, I would have said that. Um, excuse me. But, I I, I, mean, I was getting a bit... Anybody else says that? I mean, my dad's saying this one thing, if anybody else said that to me, like, I'm not going to watch Doctor Who because there's a woman that's Doctor now, I'm not going to watch that, I'll be like, well, women can do just as good as men, I'm going to say that, so I'm not, I'm not a feminist, I mean, I, I didn't actually think they were going to, um, have a female Doctor, and even, you know, in the, in the past when they've said, oh, so-and-so could be this, like, I think Olivia Coleman was always a favourite in the past, and uh, wherever else. And I go, I always say, like, I don't know, I think it would be better if it went to this person, like, and, um, well, I think when I saw Olivia's name come up, it was with, like, when Peter ended up being a doctor. So, yeah. But now we have the female doctor. If anybody says, I'm not watching that anymore because of this, because of that, because the female doctor or whatever, I'd be like, yeah, just be, uh, I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of now, but just because of pre pre prejudice, that's what I was trying to think of. I think, I thought, I think there was another word I was going to say, like, I can't think of prejudice, but no. Um, yeah, so. I can't wait to see that. What else is there? Um, oh! Tonight, well I say tonight, it would be early hours in the UK, but tonight in America there is um, the new series of Grey's Anatomy starting. Um, um, this is one program I've I've been looking forward to this, but I haven't got that like same kind of excitement like I used to for the new series coming around. I mean, like I said, I'm excited, but not. Oh my god, I can't wait, kind of things. And it hasn't been like that since. Well, it's been like that since season eleven. Well, season twelve. See for travel onwards, I haven't had that. I can't wait to see this kind of thing. Looking forward to watching it, but not the excite huge excitement. And obviously you know why that is. I mean what happened in season eleven. Season eleven, episode twenty one. I mean I even got the episode number ingrained in my brain because of that thing. And talking about that I was watching a video on YouTube, um, it, I can't remember, it was one of these, um, TV, um, T 
TV magazines or TV games, YouTube channels or something like that. And they were you know breaking some BuzzFeed co uh, competitions and quizzes. We were like, this or that, this or that, and who are you? Kind of thing. And it was like, which Grey's Anatomy character are you or something? And um, one of the questions is, what comes to mind or something, something like that, I can't remember the exact question, like, what comes to mind when the, the word semi trap is mentioned? And it kind of caught to me because I was like, two of the people, or one of the people, one, of the, one person who was answering these questions was, um, I now. One that plays a media, media shepherd, and I was like, "You're gonna have to mention him. You're gonna have to mention him." Not one mentioned Derry at all. And I was like, "He's your well, he was your character's brother in it, and you do not even mention him." Somebody meant to send me to me. That image goes into my head. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'll see you in my next video. Um, yeah, see you then. Bye.